Welcome back to the St. James Volleyball Slam, the Hy-Vee High School Game of the Week here on Spectrum News. Our next match, Mill Valley Jaguars against the Blue Valley West Jaguars. And a good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back courtside. I'm Joe Van Amberg, along with Kansas legend Jill Dorsey Hall. And Jill, you know, we talked about the last match. We had a couple teams consistently in the state tournament. Yes. Same story here. Mill Valley and Blue Valley West both always seem to find themselves playing late in October. And I think these are two teams that contend for a title in 6A. Blue Valley West, they were a little bit, they had youth on their side last year, but more experience under their belt. They have high expectations with a lot of returning crew on their side. And on the other end, Fort Mill Valley, some powerhouse. They go to their middles a lot, exceptional. Them. They found them state in the state tournament a year ago. And I think that this is a preview of what we could see going the distance in 6A. It's going to be another great one here at the St. James Volleyball Slam. Hy-Vee High School Game of the Week coming up next on Spectrum News. Hy-Vee, a proud supporter of Greater Kansas City High School Athletics, proud sponsor of the St. James Volleyball Slam. And another great match getting ready to get started here at St. James Academy. Blue Valley West, their fans. A lot of folks here from Blue Valley West, a lot of folks here from Mill Valley as well. Just great turnout, great atmosphere. We got the big distinction with the, the navy blue and the, and the bright red, a clear cut line between these two fan, fan bases. Sporting a lot of Jaguars gear. Both these teams <laughs> sporting that mascot. Again, as we've seen just all day long, great, great attendance from fan bases from all the teams. Just fantastic atmosphere at the St. James Volleyball Slam as Blue Valley West about to enter the floor. And high expectations for both of these squads after making it to state a year ago and returning a lot of their core players. I expect some high level volleyball. Saw Jessica Horstick there for there it, yeah, Blue Valley West in her ninth season, a Lee Summit West graduate. Blue Valley West played Lee Summit West last year in the volleyball slam. And on the other side is coach Kylie Horn Iliusen, who is uh, in her second year, was also the Sunflower League Coach of the Year in her first season. Not a bad start and a fourth place finish in state. Not a bad start to that career. And also, too, making that adjustment from, you know, 5A to 6A a few years ago and, and making that first 6A appearance at state. as it looks like they're checking on the knee of one of the players and that's Lily Wedman. And well, that's it. So Wedman and holding her right knee and only hope at this point that she's going to be all right. She was one of the all-state returners this year committed to Tulane and as she's the key player for Blue Valley West and that is a huge turn of events as you're seeing Lily Wedman let's say the leader of that team go to the bench the junior setter and you could see a little just just some looks at the strat there of with Wedman going to the bench she is a player that dishes the ball around gets so many players involved so then number 13 Sasha Cromer, I believe, is going to be doing the setter duty. She's a freshman. Two freshmen on the back row to open up the season. It's 
Peyton Kubik on the back row attempt. Well, we've got a net fault, so first point of the set goes to Blue Valley West. And I'm not sure when that knee injury occurred because she was warming up just fine. Well, now the freshman, Sasha Cromer, 5'11". Into the net to even the score here at one. So yeah, surprising start to this one. And again, you know, the trainers are working on Lily Wedman right now, and you can only hope that she is going to be okay. Serve from Addison Bailey. Alex Myers. And into our table, so it is a Blue Valley West point. Alex Myers now on the board. Can't say enough then about Sasha Cromer stepping in, the freshman, and taking over those duties with the ball in her hands. It's going to be Alyssa Young, the sophomore. And Kubik tried with four hits, and it's Mill Valley's serve and Mill Valley's points. The tie to two. And a good pickup here, just ball fading a bit. Ashley Blazer. Tip over by Hefner. Riggs, point for Mill Valley. They lead by one. A push out here to the touch point and a smart shot down the line. That's Riley Riggs, the freshman outside hitter. Into the net, tied once again. The Blue Valley West last season at 24 and 15. Finished to the season, made it to the state tournament. That had a huge upset in sub-state, upsetting the number one seed, Olathe West, in the sub-state finals. As Alex Myers serve a bit wide. And Mill Valley once again leads by one. Back and forth here early on, teams trading points. Jill Mill Valley, as you mentioned, 32 and 11 last year, 11 and 2 in Sunflower League play. Kubik went for the strong kill there, tipped over. Kubik again, and Blue Valley West tied once again. At Peyton Kubik, you see calling for the ball. Driving hard, and that's a wise shot from the freshman from, from a fantastic volleyball family. Two sisters playing at Nebraska. Her older sister, Maddie, one of the best players in the country a year ago, now playing professional volleyball. Her other sister is currently an outside hitter for the Cornhuskers. So quite a volleyball family. Moved into the area, area from Iowa. Kubik, it was blocked, but it went out. So now Blue Valley West with a 5-4 lead. And you can just already see the talent, the length, the strong arm swing. 6-1 freshman. Carly Pancheris just a bit long on that one. And we're back tied. We may see a lot of ties throughout the sets in this one. I definitely expect that to be the case. Riley Riggs, the freshman. Kubik. Oh, strong kill. Blue Valley West. Allison Heck, the junior. You know, interesting note. She was the most improved player last year. And I asked a coach about her this year. Said, she's the most improved player again. Two years in a row. <laughs> that just means she, she has a high ceiling. And she keeps climbing up that ladder, which is High praise for the junior middle blocker. 
Coach Orsic did have a lot of praise for the junior as that one finds the far corner. The second team all Sunflower League performer and Burke on the outside. Wise to go high, deep into the floor. That cross court deep shot is going to be a winner most of the time in that back corner. Deep third. Bo Humor off the net. So Blue Valley West again with a 7 6 lead. Brooklyn Hatton, the junior, committed to play at Arizona. Another strong kill, Caitlin Burke. Showing that versatility is Caitlin Burke moving around that time. Inside out, going here in the middle zone here, just moving her around. Another high contact point, though, deep into the floor. So Flores sends it across. What a breakout season Ella Flores had a season ago. Homer. Oh, how about the freshman? <laughs> A couple like, minutes ago, worry, coach, I got yeah, this. yeah, a couple minutes ago, she didn't know she was going to be on the floor, and now <laughs> not a lot of tendencies to go off of, right? A freshman, right. and it's, everyone's expecting Lily Wedman to play. Into the net, so a point for Mill Valley. We had multiple coaches tell us, you know, part of the volleyball slam is getting some of your younger players in there and giving them an opportunity under pressure and see how they perform. Yeah, expect the unexpected too. And get in there and perform and, and make those adjustments. And also too, for your veteran players to, to keep help them, you know, right? Bring, communicate and adjust. As a kill in the far corner for Blue Valley West. That was Davidson with that strong arm swing, that 5'10 junior. Look her rip this ball high over the top of the block, an EKL second team performer. Someone that embodies Blue Valley West volleyball is that one past the sideline on the far side and Mill Valley will take the point and the serve. And some communication from Brooklyn Hatton right now, the, the libero for for West talking to her team. I think she's like, hey, let's just like focus in on our serves. We've had a lot of miscues from the service line. Ashlyn Blazer sends it over. From her again, here's Kubik. What a kill. Back line. And deep into the floor, you're gonna see a lot of Peyton Kubik this season. And, and rightfully so. You can see all the pieces here, and that is just a strong attempt over the top of the block. Now Alex Myers, the junior, who at the volleyball slam last year, learned a lot about Alex Myers and how talented she is. Blocked. Mill Valley needs to get it over. They do. Cromer. Blocked. Oh, what a dive. Bell Humor with a fantastic dive. Cubic wide, but no, it did catch the line. Well, Cubic showing that ability, that versatility to move the ball around. There was some exceptional plays here within that rally. Tremendous defense on the side of Mill Valley, but play goes on, and it's Peyton Cubic once again. And Riley Riggs, the freshman, I thought she may make a big impact in her first match. You can just see the strength, and she's wanting the ball, calling for that ball off that at service reception ball. She's like straight up and down, giving her time and space to work. Zava Jones, the senior, sends it over. A tough ball in Mill Valley. Back and forth we go. David Jones going back for the service line. That is low to the top of the net with some pace. Now 
the senior Jones again. She is sending some tough serves over the net. A service ace. See, once again, that flat contact right in the seam. It's also the placement of which she was serving the ball. The set. And Hefner blocked. And how about Riley Riggs once again? Uh, pushing it back and good job with her hips and then her arms and to follow to not get used on that block. To push it back into the floor. And Ella Flores blocked at the net. As Pangeris in for Ava Hefner. So Pangeris now, the sophomore. Lori's got it across. Pangeris blocked. Kubik. Oh, what a return and a tip. Kubik again finds the sideline. Well, Carly Pangeris made that play happen. The sophomore kept that ball alive. Look at that all all out play there, outstretched. And then Kubik with a heads up, quick off the ground to attack that ball. Tied at 13. And Blue Valley West takes the lead. Allison Heck, the junior. What an adjustment, too, from Allison Heck, as she played club with Lily Wedman. And so usually playing with Wedman out there, used to her, but then having to adjust to Cromer, the, the setter that's setting her. So that's a tough adjustment for a middle. Service ace. Pangeris. Timeout, Mill Valley. As Blue Valley West has a two-point lead and Harley Pangeris, very impressive. Bring in the emotion. I mean, she's setting the tone with the energy. So right now you can see the Blue Valley West huddle. What do you like about what you've seen out of Blue Valley West so far? Well, thrown for a curveball. I mean, right before the start of this match, thrown for an absolute curveball. They're, they're, they're one of their leaders, one of the best players on the floor. Your quarterback, your setter, is not no longer going to be able to play. I mean, was out there, had to check her out because of something that happened to her knee at some point after warm-ups. And now sitting on the sidelines, the freshman comes in, and then for them to make the adjustments. So, yeah, okay, we've got to play goes on. And to, and to make that adjustment that fast, a huge kudos to Sasha Cromer, the, the freshman, the 5'11 freshman, running out, going out there, running a 5'1, in all six rotations. Riggs partially blocked, and Mill Valley out of the timeout gets a point to cut it to one. Well, similar to Peyton Kubik for. Blue Valley West, I, I think you're going to see big things from Riley Riggs, a freshman for Mill Valley. They're going to expect a ton out of her. As Riggs sends it beyond the end line. Blue Valley West back up by two. Substitution is Ella Davidson back in. Tip was blocked. Flores. Blocked. Jacobs got that one. Ball hanging on the net. And blocked by the Blue Valley West Jaguars, Allison Heck.
tremendous work on the back row from Hatton to Libero to keep that ball alive, cover her attackers within that rally. Play goes on. And the defense once again with the block. Another block. Allison Heck. Have yourself an afternoon. It's a four-point Blue Valley West lead. Well, knowing that Mill Valley likes to utilize their middles, they've got tremendous middles, and double block up in time on that quick attempt. And that serve went out. So Mill Valley gets a point, and it's back to a three-point advantage, Blue Valley West. With Bell humor. Just a bit low on that one, point for Blue Valley West. Look from Hatton, the junior. Honorable mention all EKL last year. And Burks shot blocked. Alex Myers. The junior. And a timeout as now Blue Valley West leads by five, 20 to 15. And Jill, you've been talking about it, just the adjustments and able to, you know, with a little bit of adversity at the beginning of the match, and they responded so well. I think because of that adversary and that adjustment, didn't have Wedman out there to thought was going to be running a 5-1 and, and and those setter duties that's essentially losing like Patrick Mahomes and quarter a quarterback right I mean going to be dishing the ball and then I think because of that they really took up their energy and effort even more and that was one of their strengths their horse told us is that you know they're lively they like they communicate they're really their energy is exceptional but I think they've even taken it to another level and on the other side with Mill Valley what are you saying in that Mill Valley huddle Hey, we're right there, right? One side out right now. We're still in this first set. Let's just settle in. Let's clean up our side. But definitely not out. And you can see here, Lily Wedman. I don't expect her to make an appearance today. Ice on her knee, getting some attention from the medical staff. As Flores blocked at the net. Blue Valley West once again, Ella Davidson, the 5'10 junior. It's now Brooklyn Hatton back once again. Flores. Kubik. Perfectly placed. A six rotation player. What a nice tool to have when you have her running from the back row. Watch her. She's calling for that ball. A strong approach. It's a nice addition to have when you have those attackers on the front row, but then another one from the back row when needed. Service ace, Brooklyn Hatton. Transfer from Gardner Edgerton. Coach said she's come a long way, blossomed into a great defender and doing a great job on the serves. Blue Valley West two points away from taking set number one. Pangeras, and there it is. One point away. Carly Pangeris, the sophomore. As a freshman, she was a surprise to them coming into last year. No surprise this year. Well placed by Caitlin Burke, the senior. Hill Valley's still alive. Abby Riggs, the junior, will check in. A great push out for 
Burke that allowed her to work with that line as she had open. The Valley will try again. Well done, Blue Valley West. Blocked, but it falls on the Blue Valley West side for a Mill Valley points. Ashlyn Blazer. And the middles for Mill Valley. That's a strength of theirs. Both of their middles able to use them in transition, beat that block. Davidson. And a tip. So Caitlin Burke gets another one. Timeout, Blue Valley West. It's match, or excuse me, set point for Blue Valley West, but Mill Valley just hanging around. A few points now on the side of Mill Valley, and they're starting to get into a rhythm. And even if they aren't able to claw all the way back and win this one, they're at least capturing some momentum. We saw what that did in the last match, right? I mean, yes. Lansing dropped that first set, but grabbed some momentum, took it with them, and ended up winning that match. So if you're Mill Valley, just keep on point by point, little by little. And Blue Valley West set point. Mill Valley to serve. We get some thumbs up. Having a good time this Saturday afternoon. I'm getting to see a lot of great volleyball matches throughout the day, including the one we've got here. A couple of the top teams in Kansas 6A. Blue Valley West going for the win. Get it over. Davidson blocks. Ashlyn Blazer. Blazer working hard on that. She was driving to close that seam. Well done from the junior middle blocker. Flores again. Davidson, good dig. Burke. Davidson. And Blue Valley West takes the point and set number one, 25 to 19. Blue Valley West, set number one belongs to them. We'll be back for set number two here at the St. James Volleyball Slam, IB High School Game of the Week on Spectrum News. This match is brought to you by High V, a proud to support Greater Kansas City High School Athletics. Set one belongs to the Blue Valley West Jaguars. Mill Valley though, Jill, they got a little bit of momentum uh, towards the end of set number one. Maybe they can carry it over, but if you're Blue Valley West, these fans, they gotta love what they've seen so far. Yeah, they gotta love it because they threw a curveball. I mean, right off the get-go, they're, they're starting setter Lily Wedman out due to injury. Week. She was in the starting lineup. Something happened while she was giving, I think, high fives and still undetermined on what exactly happened. But if you're Mill Valley, you started to make some, grab some momentum and make some positive plays late in that first set. Got it, their, their middles more involved handle that first contact better. So you got to just say, okay, we're, we're right in this. Let's focus on this set number two. First point right out of the gate. You can see the communication there in, within their huddle. Oh, Mill Valley coming into this year, came in with four seniors, four juniors, two sophomores, and a freshman. And last year kind of flying under the radar until the end. This year, everybody knows who they are. So you're going to get everyone's best match. And Blue Valley West on the other side, Get the feeling that since they made it to pool play in the state tournament last year, goal with a with a young team last year, more experience. I want to see if they get out of pool play, maybe get into that top four this year. Yeah, absolutely. I, I definitely think for the Torstick and their and their teams, that is that's the standard, and they have a great team, and they have the, the right pieces, and we saw how how outstanding Peyton Kubik, the freshman outside hitter, is for them already. Yeah, we've seen 
so many outstanding freshmen already today and seeing it once again here and you know Sasha Cromer as well the freshman coming in and doing some big things for Blue Valley West. Let's get ready for set number two. Which Kylie Corneliusen is talking with the second referee. And now Peyton Kubik, the freshman, will start us off here in set number two. And Kubik, just a bit too much on that one. It goes out, and Mill Valley starts with a 1-0 lead. Sophomore Ella Flores, second team All-State. Blocked, but it falls for a point, and Blue Valley West ties it. And just kind of like set number one, a tie. We saw a lot of ties in set number one as well. Brooklyn Hatton. A bit too far, one for Blue Valley, or excuse me, for Mill Valley. Substitution is Addison Bailey, the senior, in to serve. And a good tip over. Another point for Blue Valley West. Sasha Cromer, that's a nifty move from the freshman up here. Not expecting that. Great placement. Stromer. Just beyond the end line. Points for Mill Valley. Seda Jacobs back in for Mill Valley. Blazer to serve. Bit too much on that one, too, so another point for Blue Valley West. We are tied at three. Alyssa Young, the sophomore, in to serve. Myers went for the kill. Riggs blocked. Outside and a it, point. Yeah, hit the antenna. Point to West. So Alyssa Young will get another opportunity to serve. <laughs> Abby Riggs. Mill Valley reclaims the lead. A strong swing on this right side. Gets that through that block on their descent. David Jones on the serve for Mill Valley. Riggs blocked. Flores got it. That's a clean swipe from, from Flores off the hand. Fun player because she's that has that versatility. She sets, she hits, she really has a nice, well rounded volleyball game. A smart player. Ava Jones. <laughs> Tips. <laughs> Flores. <laughs> Cubic. Point for Mill Valley. Uh, 
Jones again. Myers finds the back line for a point. Everybody seems to cheer louder when the balls just like bounce down. But these are the shots I think are the smart ones. I mean, these are the ones that are win gonna win you games. Deep into the floor, high over the top of the block. Perfect placement. Utilize the deep part of the court. You're gonna win a lot of volleyball matches to be able to do that. Flores with a tip. Kubik. Well, Peyton Kubik is having a fantastic match. You're going to see that she is going to be one of the huge big time recruits, I think, throughout her career. And her stock's only going to increase more and more. And you wouldn't know without looking at a roster that she was a freshman. Riggs. That was a tough ball to play, and Riggs gives Mill Valley another point. And also another freshman. I go back to these. These volleyball players start younger. They're playing high-level club volleyball. They're getting, you know, they get that exposure to the level of play that you have to to come into high school and make that immediate impact because of the level which they're playing all year round. It's Hefner blocked. And Jill, you were talking about this during set number one, the momentum for Mill Valley later on in the set, they seem to get a little bit more. They seem to be carrying a little bit of that over here. Yeah, they're settling in into this match, certainly, and that was a good team block on that last play. And just little by little, right? I mean, you start to just clean up things even more throughout the match. Don't get too deterred from dropping that first set, knowing that you have enough time, you still have an opportunity to win. Caitlin Burke just couldn't quite get it over the net. A point for Blue Valley West. It's Carly Pangeris to serve. Pangeris. Blocked in Blue Valley West with another one, and we're tied at eight. Allison Heck once again for, for West. Teaming up there, I think, with a freshman, Sasha Cromer, giving her credit, too, on that block. And Jarris again. Burke blocked again. Again blocked. Allison Heck. You cannot get a volleyball past Allison Heck right now. And the timing, the press over. I think it's here, though, Jessica Horstick, their head coach, saying play to the whistle, play to the whistle, was worried that her team was maybe cheering too quickly because that, that play almost was up on the side of Mill Valley. Good reminder, it's loud in here. It's hard sometimes to. As a point for Mill Valley, once again, tied at nine. Back and forth we go for the second set. Blue Valley West winning set number one, 25-19. Mill Valley trying to even and push this to a third set. Kubik with the tip. What a smart shot from, from Kubik. These are the plays that he expects to do, like huge wind up, and she goes up, and then because of that, the defense is all back on their heels, not expecting that tip over the top. And that finds the back line for Caitlin Burke. Zabby Riggs back in for Mill Valley. I like that adjustment from on that swing out there from Caitlin Burke to take that a little bit more towards the line, shade that more towards the line for the winner. It's Kubik's attempt a bit wide. No Valley has the lead. Oh, what a 
tip. Cromer. She is not playing like a freshman. Has a length to her there behind her head. We've seen that a couple times, but it's still finding the winner, so the defense really hasn't made that adjustment. Burke gets it over. Blocked. Burke. Another point for Blue Valley West as they take the lead here at set number two. Brooklyn Hatton, the junior. What a dig by Bell Humor. Perfectly placed Davidson. That's some high level volleyball happening right now on the floor. Both teams taking huge swings. Both teams making great digs. Back and forth action. That was a well played ball there on the line to just stay disciplined, to stay on that line, and then shading it for the win towards the line. That would end the net. And you're just talking about digs. And Jill, you know a thing or two about uh, digs. <laughs> it's my favorite. I talk about it a lot. I always look at the liberos. I always try to give them a little bit more love. That was the position that I played. And I'm, I love it when they, I, I played, though, when they first started the libero position. So that's going to show my age a little bit. But we didn't have it. Vol volleyball back in the day, I like to say, didn't have the libero <laughs> position. But I, I love the, the addition of that, that rut roll. I say all the time, if you can't pass, you can't dig a ball, you can't have that first contact, you're not going to win, right? It's that first contact. It's a point for Blue Valley West, and now Cromer back to serve. Davidson, too far. And it's back to a one-point advantage. Blue Valley West. Well, Mill Valley started this set with a one, I believe they got to a two point lead at one point, and then Blue Valley West here recently has commanded the lead. They lead by one right now. It's Blazer. Myers is blocked, but Mill Valley was into the net. And it's a point for Blue Valley West. I believe they had Jacobs in the net. She goes up. Great discipline to stay with the middle. And calls for that net violation. Point over to Blue Valley West. Bailey sent it over. Cubic. Too far, and Mill Valley back within a point. Again, Mill Valley trying to extend this match into a third set. Cubic. That one caught the end line. A solid adjustment from the freshman. She had just missed one long, but she takes a little bit off of that. More snap to the wrist to find that in front of the end line that time. So that snap. Alex Myers. Wiggs blocked. Flores. Blocked, but it went out. Point for Mill Valley. Back to a one-point set. Look at that secondary set over the top of her head. That was executed at a high level. That's Addison Bailey. Cubic denied.
Blue Valley West trying to keep it alive. Burke too far. Oh, an example there of keeping the ball alive and <laughs> some good things might happen on that long attack. Blue Valley West was just absolutely scrambling throughout, but point goes to them. Jarris. Flores. What a spot. Perfect kill. Flores is one of those players that throw the ball in and she's going to make a play. I mean, she just sees the floor extremely well. Flores, All State second team, first team All Sunflower League last season. Seda Jacobs. Flores. And a block from Cubic. Allison Heck also may have been in there as well. Now she seems to be everywhere whenever she's out there <laughs> in her front three rows. Strong finish from Burke. And they like that in that rotation to move Burke around to that middle, to a different zone. She hits on the outside a lot, but in this rotation, to move her around on that two ball, that way she can work either angle. Flores kept alive. And there's that adjustment on that. She picked it up the third time she attempted that. The winner her first two times, that time picks it up. Allison Heck once again. And working in transition. Great timing and connection. So Patton. Low on that one. And back to a one point set. In Mill Valley right now, Coach Cornelia Usen hoping her team can extend this to a third set. Myers block, but it falls on the Mill Valley side. And give a lot of credit to the service reception core of Blue Valley West. New setter in, they're making her life a little bit easier by giving her a well contacted ball in that first contact allow her to run that offense throughout this ball game. Caitlin Burke. Or excuse me, that was Ashlyn Blazer, the junior. Eight, not six. Blazer made huge gains from her freshman to sophomore year. Expecting a lot out of her this year as she sends the serve across. Davidson. No Valley, another opportunity. No Valley, and they get it here. Riggs. Cubic, tough shot! A freshman to freshman to end that rally. Like that connection on that back row attempt. Peyton Cubic's gonna go rotate to the front, but give her credit for calling for the ball, letting her setter know that she's the option on that back row. Getting down to the wire now. You can feel the intensity building in this gym right now. Melissa Young. Riggs. It was blocked, but it falls on the Blue Valley West side. Back to a one point advantage for West. This time it's Abby, Abby Riggs on the right side. 
block, just not pressed at the right time, allowed for that to come in front of them when they were coming down from the block. Jones. Kubik. Another strong finish. That was a great pass up to the setter. skills you can see just gonna be such a, she's already a tremendous player so it's gonna be fun to watch her mature and flourish throughout her high school career so Alex Myers long on that last serve it's back to a one-point advantage Blue Valley West Mill Valley fans hoping that their team can go on a run here and Jarris was denied. Oh! Allison Heck! Allison Heck just continuing to make plays for Blue Valley West throughout this match. And this is a heads up play. And this is quick. So he gathers her feet and then swings across her body to the open side of the floor. It's a timeout, and Mill Valley wanting to talk some things over and. They're, they're still right in this. Blue Valley West, you can see right now, just another impressive set. And to just to respond from that and to back up that first set, it was really impressive winning that 25 and 19 and then continuing to make the plays within this set. But Mill Valley right there, you know, one side out and then they're a few points away and we expect another good one right after this. Yeah, St. Teresa's Academy versus Bishop Miege. A rematch of last year's volleyball slam. I always love those when they come back for more. Like, let's rewind it back. There's always that re revenge factor. We'll get to see them coming up next here on Spectrum News at the St. James Volleyball Slam. No Valley Flores rejected. Jacobs tipped over. Kubik. It's going to be difficult to stop Peyton Kubik with one block up, and that's what happened on that <laughs> within that rally. So Blue Valley West can take the set and the match here. Pangeras to serve. Too far. Mill Valley still alive in this one. Now the junior Jacobs, honorable mention all state last season. Wonderful serve. Timeout as Mill Valley has cut it to one. Well, Jill, right now, Mill Valley, you got to be feeling some momentum, maybe. I know it's still match point, but Mill Valley's making a little run here late. Yeah, you just focus on this. What rotation are they in? Where do they like to go? The tendencies within this rotation, first things first, go back, focusing on the serve, coming back, following up that ace. But good time out here for Coach Horstick to just say, hey, we're all right. We're okay. She went over to Carly Pangeras, who just had that off of her platform, allowed that ace, and just said, you're fine. You're fine. That ball. You know, that spun in, it really dove last second. So just take a deep breath, make this next play. Jacobs again, one point for Blue Valley West, and they win the match. Into the net, and that does it. Blue Valley West defeats Mill Valley two sets to zero. What a match between Blue Valley West and Mill Valley. Blue Valley West takes this one. We'll take a quick timeout. We'll be back for some closing thoughts here at the St. James Volleyball Slam. Mill Valley 
falls to Blue Valley West in two sets. Blue Valley West, very impressive. And Jill, we talked about at the beginning of this, a little adversity to start, but Blue Valley West able to overcome that adversity and then beat a very good Mill Valley team in two sets. And it was, we thought Lily Wedman, the starting setter for Blue Valley West was gonna be playing all up into the very last second and something must have happened, an injury endured. The freshman, Sasha Cromer, was huge. Stepped in to that setter duty, running quarterback duties, a 5-1. And it was the other freshman, Peyton Kubik, along I thought with Alex Myers. Those were the key players for Blue Valley West. They settled in and had to deal with a lot of adversity because Mill Valley is a very, very talented team. I have high expectations for both of these squads. It's going to be a fun volleyball season watching these two teams as the season progresses. Don't be surprised to see them in the state tournament at the end of the year. A great match here at the St. James Volleyball Slam as Blue Valley West takes it from Mill Valley. Two sets to zero, but don't go anywhere. We've got St. Teresa's and Bishop Miege coming up next here at the St. James Volleyball Slam. The Heidi High School Game of the Week here on Spectrum News.